transformed your visit to the seat of power this morning? Well, it's a private visit to His Excellency, President Mohamed Obwari, and I've discussed all that was in my heart with him. Of recent, the National Assembly just uh, okayed that INEC should transmit electoral result, election results through electronic means. What's your take on that? Do you see that as a good omen for Nigerian politics? Perhaps one of the best things the present uh, National Assembly has done, especially the Senate, because with that, Nigerians can vote. Uh, and then these results can be transmitted so easily. Not only that, uh, part of the State of the Nation uh, address that I did on October 10, I emphasized how Nigerian youth, especially undergraduates, are disenfranchised in our country. 22.3 million students are registered, but during election, campuses are shot. They, cannot, they will not be able to return there to vote. They are therefore disenfranchised. If we can, if we can do not just transmit the results, but to be able to vote electronically, that would be wonderful. It would deepen and enhance our democracy. Not only that, the diaspora send about 25 point something billion dollars to Nigeria. Nigerian diaspora should also be able to vote like they do in every other country in the world. The more the merrier. Yes, democracy is a ruthless name, game of number, but our people should have the final say. So the office of the citizen must be as important, if not more, than the office of the governor or the president, because they are the people who put them in power. Sovereignty still lies in the hands of the people of Nigeria. Sir, you have been advocating for the structuring of the country. How do you want Nigeria to be structured? I've said it is in the open, the documents are already there. It's not something I can cover in five minutes. We can do it without shooting any gun. The lecture after lecture after lecture had been prepared and had made copies available to Mr. President. We need to do it to move this nation forward. The founding fathers of this nation, Sir Modubelo, Shivafemi Awulawa, Dr. Namdi Azikiwe, Prime Minister Tafar Baliwa, alongside with their entourage in Lancaster House and everywhere, agreed on what type of government Nigeria should have. We must not change the goalposts in the midst of the game. We, can, we are better off together as a nation than going at different ways. But it must be based on equity, justice, fair play, and the rule of law. Uh, sir, are you going to contest in 2020? We have said private politics. Every Nigerian who is of age and who is not disqualified by any means is free. I'm a nation builder. If God wants me to do that, and the people of Nigeria will appreciate that, why not? I'm as free as anybody to do anything with my time. Uh, I've pastored the church for 33 years. Now we've raised new leaders. I want to focus on nation building. The office of the president is only one office. There's so many other things we can do as, as people to support whoever is there, to make sure that we do not go into retrogression, we begin to make steady progress as a people. Sir. I've already communicated clearly my future plans to Mr. President, and it stays between us. So what would you say to the ongoing debate on the politician? On I said, it, I said it on the 10th of October. It's our immaturity, politically and otherwise, that makes us say uh, power must either be in the north or be in the south, instead of looking for the best, the fittest, the most competent, and people of character who love this nation. And listen to me. If where the president comes from, We make the place he had come for to be better. The northern part of Nigeria should be the richest and should be the most progressive and the most developed. Because out of 61 years, the north has produced either presidents or heads of state for 40 to 41 years. And yet, see the retrogression in the north. If it's from the south, why should a person like President Obasanjo 
freeze and seize the account of Lagos State in his own tenor. If it's from South South or Southeast, why couldn't President Jonathan use all his powers to develop South South or South? It's not where they come from, it's what they carry and what they have to offer. May the best of the best of Nigerians rise, whether they are from the East, from the West, from the North, and from the South. Now, if there are agreements between politicians among themselves on rotation, Talan Tolu, Tolu Tuntala, Ibagin is Ibagin. That's between them. But as far as this country is concerned, what we need at this stage is men who can drive us to the Eldorado. Thank you so much. Thank you.